Hey everyone, Murray Fife here. Uh, today I thought that I'd show something uh, pretty cool that I've been working on. And uh, uh, in this uh, quick video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show how you can go out and create your own uh, dual right entity map so that you could get data from Dynamics 365 uh, Finance and Operations over into uh, Dataverse so that then maybe you could use it um, natively uh, within the Dataverse app. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you how you create the uh, data entity within Dataverse, then also how we go out and uh, set up the mapping with, within them and see it all in action. This, this should be a, a pretty a pretty quick presentation as we go through. Now, what, what we're going to do is we're going to go out and uh, add a uh, dual right uh, mapping that, that I want to use within the field service and asset management. So what I want to do is I want to make the maintenance request information available uh, within Dataverse. So what we've got here is we've got the the uh, one of the tables that I want to move over, which is the maintenance request uh, lifecycle state. So we've got all the information here, but we don't actually have it over in uh, in Dataverse, and we also don't have a corresponding table associated with it either. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to uh, I'm going to go over to uh, Dataverse, and I've got a solution here, and you can see that I've already created one uh, one data entity for the work order lifecycle states. But what I want to do is I want to create another one. So I'm going to create a new table here within Dataverse that I can store this in, and I'm going to call this uh, the asset cycle state. And this is going to be the life cycle state table. Now, there are some additional uh, things that we can apply here. I don't want to do a mail merge for this. And also, by default, it goes out and creates a primary column. So that's fine. We're going to stick with, with that for now. And I'm going to create this table. Now, as this uh, table is being created, then there's going to be a couple of things that we need to uh, create and add to, to this table so that we can get this working. For example, we're going to need to have, uh, have a company code associated with it, and also we're going to want to have the lifecycle ID. So if I look here and look at the, uh, what's already been created, then there's already a unique identifier, which is this item here. This is going to be the GUID that uh, Dataverse uses. And then also there's a primary column here for the name. That's going to be the, uh, the description of the uh, uh, life cycle state. But what we want to do is we want to go out and create a uh, couple more ta uh, fields here. And the first one that I'm going to add is going to be the company. And this is going to be a lookup. And this is going to be a required field. And I'm going to look up the company table here in Dataverse. This is already synced through dual right within the system. Then also what we're going to do is we want to uh, add another table, which is going to be the ID. And this is going to be the maintenance request code that we create. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to call this request. Uh, life and then I'm just going to copy this into the description. Now this is going to be a text field and it's going to be required. Now one thing that we do need to do is that there's actually already a field here that has has the same name. So I'm going to uh, just put a hyphen for the ID so that I can go out and, and and use that. So now, after we've done that, 
if we look at our maintenance request, then there's also a field here for the maintenance request for being uh, active. And we may want to copy these over. I'm just going to copy one over. And I'm going to add a new column. And I'm going to say maintenance request. Now, this is going to be a choice, and it's going to be a yes, no. And then we've just got the, the values here for the label of no and yes, and then the values. And we've got a default choice. So let's save that. And now what we've got is we've got a, a table that we can go out and we can use. So right now, if I go back and look at the table, then it's going to be blank. And I'm going to change this, and I'm going to turn off some of these items, and then I'm going to choose the main main fields that we want, which is the name and the status. And right now, we don't have any data here, so we haven't linked these two tables together. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to do right. And what I have here is I've got all of my um, mappings that I've got within Dynamics going over to Dataverse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new table, a new uh, mapping within the system. So it's, right now it's going out and it's looking up all of the tables within uh, Finance and Operations and also all the tables within Dataverse. So if I look up all the asset management tables, then if I look at uh, my asset uh, maintenance requests, then this is the main table uh, actually on the asset management maintenance request lifecycle states, not the request right now. And then now I'm going to find the new table that we just created within Dataverse. So I've got my asset maintenance request. I'm going to choose my publisher, and it's going to be the Global Black Belt Organization. And I'm going to give it a, a description, and then or a version number. Then I'm going to add a description. And I'm just going to uh, have the two tables here, just so that we've got uh, know the description of these mappings. So now that's gone out and created my maintenance uh, uh, request lifecycle states, it's currently in a not running state. So now what I want to do is I want to uh, add the, the tables that I want to uh, synchronize here within dual write within uh, into this new uh, maintenance, maintenance request lifecycle state uh, dual write template. So we'll just wait for, for this to uh, pop in, and we'll see that we've got no mappings here. So I'm going to add a mapping, and then what I can do is I can choose my uh, my fields. So what I'll do is I'll start by choosing the lifecycle state ID, and then I map this over to Dataverse. So Oh, we've got two IDs here. We've got one that doesn't have the underscore. That's the GUID. And then we've got the one that I created just here. And I'm going to add that here. I'm going to add another mapping. And this time I'm going to choose the name of the lifecycle state. And then we're going to pop that over and link that to the name uh, on, the, on the item. And then also what I want to do is I'm going to add one more. And this is going to be... Uh, whether the request is active or not. And then I'm going to choose this uh, mapping that we've got. Now, before we finish here, this is going to be a, a yes, no, and we need to uh, do a little bit of mapping and transformation. So if this is yes in Dataverse, then I'm going to make this true. And I'm going to add another one, no, false. So this will allow you to translate between the data versus yes, no, and then the uh, values within 
uh, finance and operations. So now we've got our map here. I'm going to go back to the dual right just quickly. And then what we need to do is we need to specify the uh, how we're indexing this. So now that I've added the lifecycle state, we'll have an integration key that's here. So what I want to do is I want to add a key and I want to have the uh, man's request lifecycle ID as one of the primary fields. And then also what I want to do is I want to add the company to this uh, so that these are the two primary keys that I've got here within this view. So now that I've done that, we've because we didn't specify the company within the uh, actual dual right mapping we uh, specified here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my uh, lifecycle state. And then this is uh, currently isn't isn't running. Oops. And let me just uh, add these mappings. I forgot to save them. So I'm going to choose the lifecycle ID again. 